They make healthy snacks and store food long term. Let's talk why you should get a dehydrator. Hey guys, this is Megan from GoingCrunchyNotCrazy.com and since last video was a little haphazard and definitely last minute, I thought I would do something a little bit more planned today um, about the dehydrator more in depth. We talked about soaking nuts and almonds and kind of why you do it, but what else can you do with a dehydrator? Like why did I choose a dehydrator instead of just using my oven? What else is it for? When you dehydrate your food, the only nutrient you're really going to be losing is vitamin C. Vitamin C is sensitive and the heat and uh, the time will degrade it, but most other vi vitamins and nutrients are going to get uh, more dense in the food. You're losing all the water, so you're losing a lot of that excess, and they're getting concentrated, so you're getting more bang for your buck. When I show you my zucchini chips, you'll see what I'm talking about. So here's the dehydrator that I use. I just got the Presto. It is a um, really great, super um, affordable option. It came with five of these guys. These are the trays that you've seen in the other videos. It's great to stack. Sorry, they stack and they store tight together so it doesn't take up a lot of space. And then they flip out and create an air pocket, if you can see right here for all that hot air to come through. The very bottom is where the heat comes. I need to clean it, I just took those almonds out. Um, but that is where the heat comes through, it comes all the way up through the top, and then through the lid, there are some perforations. Um, so all of that moisture escapes through the top. Again, I can see through it. It's really easy to tell what's going on. The green light tells me it's on, and that is it. It's pretty much idiot proof. We dehydrate veggies, fruits, and berries to store long-term and for just snacks around the house. I love veggie chips. But do make sure you're careful when slicing on a mandolin as I have injured myself. As you can see, I really do like those zucchini chips. They're pretty much gone. Here's a list of my favorite dehydrator foods. The best thing about it for me is that it's just really easy. You saw in the nut video, hopefully, if not, I'll put it down below, that I really just piled everything in there and turned it on and I came back 12 hours later. Zucchini chips, the same way. Apple chips, same way. If you're using a dehydrator that has a temperature and time gauge, even better. You can set it overnight when you leave, don't have to be here, but pretty much you're not going to over dehydrate most things. I have over dehydrated blueberries, but that's the only thing that's been an utter disaster. Everything else has turned out great. It's super easy to see through the lid of this. Most dehydrators have a clear um, cover or a door on them so you can always see what's going on. You kind of can tell by, um, by sight, if not by just lifting the lid and taking a bite, which is what I usually do. But other than that, you can't really mess it up. It just gets dry. So try the dehydrator. Um, super cheap, super easy. And if you really don't want to try it yet and you want to go with the oven first, by all means, go with the oven first and then see if you can kind of slow get into the dehydrator spirit. If you like this video, like and comment below and let me know. Thanks!